Have you ever wondered how is it that a public servant receives the power to have the gun, the handcuffs, the uniform, the authority? What does this man or woman have to do in exchange for that? What does he have to give up or she have to give up? Now, under natural law, under common law, usually how this would work is very simple. This man or this woman would make a promise in the form of an oath to the people. Say, I promise to protect, to serve the people, to fulfill the law. And in exchange, the authority is given to this public servant by the people because the people have the power. All the power comes from the people. So, this exchange right here happens. And if this man or woman does not fulfill, then the people decide his fate. Now, what we have right now, nowadays, we don't have public servants. What we have more is policy officers, police officers, because they have an oath, but it's not to the people. Their oath is to the corporation, the CEO, the crown, to serve and protect the crown, to enforce the rules of the crown, to collect revenue for profits from the, for the corporation, for the crown. So their oath, their contract, binds them to this world, this legal system right here. So we the people are mixing these two worlds up. We're not recognizing this. We're not making the distinction that there is two separate worlds, legal, lawful. So this is controversial. We need to correct this. These individuals need to be held accountable. Those in office, where? These oaths, who are they for? Because if the oaths, these contracts are for the corporation, then there's no one to serve and protect the people. There's no one to make sure that the law is fulfilled. So the people are on their own. The people are left to defend and protect themselves. The people now must make this correction, clear up the controversy, hold them accountable. Who do you work for? Because if your oath, your allegiance is to them, then we do not need to contract with you. You're just a corporation, just like any other company, and you have no authority given by the people to govern the people. This is strictly by consent, and we the people can reserve consent. So we must correct this controversy. We must learn the distinctions, learn the differences, because these individuals are basically people. These individuals come from this right here, this group. So it is until we learn these two worlds, learn the differences, that we can now move forward and finally grow.